I know a man who has exhibited love, great love, for the people here, for the people in the community, for the people in Oklahoma. His name is Joseph Jeffrey Hamilton. <laughs> He has certainly followed Christ, and just as he has been loved by Christ, he, have lo he has loved many who have been in this congregation and beyond. In Jeff's ministry here, um, over the years, you all have walked the journey of faith together and tended to and carried this love of Christ. And so today, um, we celebrate the completion of ministry, of this ministry, this called ministry at First Christian Church of Reverend Jeff Ham Hamilton, who was ordained into Christian ministry in 1960. Congratulations. In the midst of the gathered people here, we take these moments to officially mark what is coming to an end, and we release you, Jeff, from this called ministry to retirement, which is another form of ministry in and of itself. You can ask your brothers and sisters who have retired before you that God's call upon your life does not end in this very moment. It transitions. Maybe you don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> For 58 years, you have preached the gospel. You have provided pastoral care. You have nourished and taught the sacred stories out of the Bible. You've participated in countless meetings. I don't know if you can go back 60 years and count how many meetings you've been to. You have advocated for social justice, and you've held firm to unity amidst diversity. You have blessed babies. You have baptized children and adults. You have married those who have declared their love for each other. You have buried a few saints. You have traversed through mountaintops and the darkest valleys, offering God's steadfast love, amazing grace, and hope that we have come to know in Jesus Christ. All along the journey, you have prayed countless prayers, countless, for healing and wholeness. And who knows how many times you've hosted the feast around the Lord's table. We honor you for your faithful service to the Church Universal, the Christian Church Disciples of Christ, and we proudly present you with an honored minister's pen today <laughs> that I'm going to give to Wanda in just a minute after I talk about it for a moment. So it's really a very small pen. It was designed by A.W. Ed Eggerdling, Eggerdling and approved by the Pension Fund Board of Trustees in 1955. It is beautifully pressed metal depicting long service in the ministry of Christ. It is a myriad of memories reaching back over the years in rich fellowship. It is the Word of God expressed in living accents to eager hearts. It is a ministry of joy found in those happy moments of life. It is life in resurrection where saddened folks find a new day of hope. It is the struggling of friendship to build the church of our Lord on earth. It is a constant war against the forces of evil that want to destroy. It is a serious study and prayer to discern the holy will of God for this day. And it is a personal cross where burdens are lightened by divine strength. And above all, it is a resurrection and a call to continue to let God use you and your gifts in a way that you've not discovered. 
all that in this little bitty pen. <laughs> you see, in and of itself, it's not of great value in gold or silver. However, what makes it priceless is all of the persons who wear it proudly. Since 1955, the pension fund has provided more than 2,900 honored minister pens. And so you, today you join those honored ministers. And on behalf of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ, the pension fund, and this congregation, it is my joy and pleasure to present to you this honored minister's pen. We thank you for your years of service in the cause of Christ and for your life investment in the witness to God's kingdom. We want to thank you. And so Wanda, I'm going to give you this pen and ask you to take it out of the box and carefully, it's small and the back is even smaller, <laughs> to put this pen on Jeff and also say to you, Wanda, we are deeply grateful for the covenant of love that you share with Jeff. Ministers do not do their work without the love and support from their spouse and family. Sometimes our ministry even gets in the way of our family. So we are also deeply grateful for the covenant of love that you share with Jeff and for your support and encouragement for him and also with the realization that sometimes, probably more like often, <laughs> you all do this ministry together. So congratulations and let us share in this joy and honor you. Would you stand? God, you may be seated. God has certainly blessed you, Jeff and Wanda. May God's blessing continue to be upon you through the love of Christ and the witness that you will continue to bring that you're commanded to love. Blessings. I want to take just a small moment as Jeff would say, personal privilege. <laughs> I, I'm Kristen, are you ready with the slides? I want to introduce you to a young man. <laughs> that is Jeff. <laughs> About the time in Kansas City when he preached his first sermon. Before seminary, before any of that. Now the next picture reminds us that he went to Yale, as did Sharon Watkins. Oh. <laughs> And that was taken at General Assembly in Florida, right? Yeah. Okay, go to the next one. He has served diligently here, and his desk still looks like that. <laughs> go ahead. He welcomed a, a, a green recruit of a minister to this place when I first got here. Uh, and I have enjoyed working with Jeff so much and arguing theology. Usually he wins. No, I always come out all right. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. He likes dressing up in fun hats. That was from our 124th or 125th anniversary. Next one. That's one that was taken right outside the sanctuary uh, a few years ago. One more. He helped start Skill. Supporting kids and independent living, uh, homeless kids, that teenagers that would have to drop out of high school except for he helped start a program so that they could graduate high school. Next one. He's worked with um, Jesse and with others in the community throughout his career on race relations in this world. That was at the MLK breakfast about three or four years ago, and he actually spoke that day. Next one, interfaith work. 
Jeff Hamilton got the Interfaith Alliance in Oklahoma started. Was president for eight years. Eight years. And uh, I love this one with his hair blowing in the wind. Yes. <laughs> That's an action shot. Very dignified. Very dignified. <laughs> and the next one, still serving here, preaching, teaching, praying, go to the next one, Kristen. But what we want to say to you, Jeff, is that a few years ago, we, we made you minister for life. And I've got that hanging right here. I thought I recognized that. <laughs> and it's on your cake when we go down oh, for, the, okay. for the chili cook-off. But we re-signed it and put today's date on it. Because you truly are our minister. My pastor a lot of times. And I do appreciate it. And I, I want to say that along with Wanda, go to the next shot. We love you. Aww. I love that those pictures of me and Wanda. <laughs>